Barack Obama and Loretta Lynch are in hot water, and there's no way out this time. Shocking reports confirm that Obama had Lynch let Natalia Veselnitskaya, the Russian hottie who met with Donald Trump Jr., into the United States, even though she was denied a visa, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. Obama and Lynch allegedly committed multiple felonies using Veselnitskaya in a honeypot scheme, and now, President Donald Trump is getting sweet revenge. When Donald Trump Jr. agreed to meet with Natalia Veselnitskaya it was at the behest of an acquaintance named Ron Goldston. Goldston is a British low-level PR guy who had run into the Trumps during certain Hollywood-type events. Goldston was just the middleman, being used by the real puppet masters behind the scenes, Barack Obama and Loretta Lynch. This Russian hottie, Natalia Veselnitskaya, was denied entry into the United States, and strangely, Loretta Lynch steps in and makes all her troubles go away. Denied a visa, a frustrated vessel Nitskaya was eventually able to secure permission from the Justice Department to enter the country outside the normal visa process under a designation known as Immigration Parole, court records show, CBS News reports. But, that's not all. The big bombshell has to do with Obama having former Attorney General Loretta Lynch tap former Trump campaign manager Paul Manafort's phone during the meeting with Vessel Nitskaya. Let that sink in for a moment. That means Obama was recording and listening in on a private meeting, held by American citizens, with no warrant. According to a tweet by a former Massachusetts Trump campaign official James Brower and first reported by independent journalist and author Jack Posobiec, former Trump campaign manager Paul Manafort's phone was tapped by former Attorney General Loretta Lynch during the now infamous meeting with Russian lawyer Natalia Veselnitskaya, who was let into the United States under extraordinary circumstances by Obama's DOJ, headed by Lynch, reports Zero Hedge. It has also come to light that another person was in the room, dressed down in a t-shirt and jeans, appearing to be Natalia Veselnitskaya boyfriend or love interest. Nope, the casual-looking guy was Renat Akhmetshin, a Russian-American lobbyist who has ties to counter-intelligences in Russia. He is a Russia spy. What's more, all of these characters, Veselnitskaya, Goldiston, and Akhmetshin, sent in by Obama and his deep state cronies, work for Fusion Jeeps. Now, you're probably asking, who in the hell is Fusion Jeeps? According to Zero Hedge, Fusion Jeeps is the firm behind the discredited 35-page Trump Russia dossier and was co-founded by Glenn Simpson, who abruptly cancelled his testimony before the Senate Judiciary Committee next week in light of recent events linking the Democrat opposition research firm to a second attempt to take down the Trumps. What would Obama and Lynch have to gain by tapping into the meeting with Don Jr.? Timing is everything, and this happened one week after Trump got the nomination. So, at that point, the Democrats knew who they needed to destroy. This is where the fake Russian collusion story is born, and the meeting serves as evidence, as the liberals whine, see, Trump had Russians in Trump Tower offering dirt on Hillary. Worse, it was also a sting operation to get Fisher warrants to listen in at Trump Tower. Jack Posobiec, who broke this story writes, Accusations have arisen that the meeting was part of a wider setup to achieve a Fisher warrant to wiretap phones of the Trump campaign during 2016. President Trump himself has accused the FBI under Loretta Lynch of wiretapping his campaign. It all makes sense, especially if you're wondering why they picked Manafort's phone and not Don Jr.'s. If anything having to do with compromising national security would have been heard. Manafort was the perfect patsy. He worked for the now ousted Ukrainian president, so if you're trying to sell Russian collusion to judges on the FISA court, throw Manafort in the mix, and it makes it all so much more believable. President Trump now has his smoking gun to point to any time the scumbags in the mainstream media start with their crazy Russia Trump connection. There is no doubt Trump got his sweet revenge today by leaking this vital information to the press. The list of felonies committed here by Barack Obama and Loretta Lynch is long, 
with the good possibility that James Comey too had knowledge of this now botched sting operation. When will these idiots learn, when you punch President Trump? he is going to punch you back ten times harder. It's time the liberals with their fake Russian rhetoric get out of his way. He is making America great again. Please share the story and tell us what you think by clicking one of the buttons below. We want to hear your voice.